Hello and welcome to this virtual cabinet training video. Today we're going to take a look at how we navigate the system. By the end of this video we will understand what the different tabs are, how we find our way around and what we can do in different areas of the system. The first screen you are presented with after logging in is your home page, landing page. Along the top we have our 10 most recent documents that we have viewed and down the bottom an area for any saved searches. Virtual Cabinet has a ribbon for navigation and different tabs along the ribbon. Depending on your level of access and how you use the system, you may see the tabs I have here or you may see less. To navigate our way around Virtual Cabinet, we simply click on the tab and we will then jump to the area in the system. The next tab we have along the ribbon is the Scan tab. This allows you to have a USB scanner connected to your local machine. You can scan in individual documents, multiple documents, double-sided, black and white, and colour items. We have the ability to scan to an in-tray, to a client filing cabinet, or to specific users. The next tab we have on the ribbon is the in-tray. The in-tray is likely a new concept to a lot of people. The in-tray is designed as a temporary staging area. Documents are not intended to spend any length of time in here. On the left hand side we have a document viewer. This is a multi-format viewer. We can view Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, TIFF images and PDFs all in one area without the need for multiple pieces of software running. In the middle, we have our document list. These documents could be items of post which have been scanned to you or documents you have sent into the intray yourself. On the right hand side here, we have our filing cabinets. This is an area that allows us to file documents away. When I click on the document in my document list, you can see on the left hand side I have a front page preview of the document. We have a number of functions along the ribbon. We have a series of tabs in the document list. The documents tab, which is my documents list. I have a tasks tab, which is for any workflow or tasks which have been assigned to me. We also have a shortcuts tab, where I can have links to documents without the need to have them exist in my in-tray. On the right hand side we have the filing cabinets and two tabs. My index tab allows me to file documents away to a client area and an in-trays tab that allows me to browse and see other users documents. The next tab is search. Virtual Cabinet contains three core types of searching. We have a keyword search. Think of this like Google. On the right hand side, we have an index search, which allows you to perform targeted searches. We also have the ability for content searching, where we can search for documents by the content contained within them. We have a work in progress tab. This area contains any documents which you are currently editing. It is a quick access method to get back to your documents rather than having to perform a search against the client file and find the previous information you were working with. We have the reports tab. This allows you to run a number of reports. In tray reports specific user audit reports, portal reports, any documents which are currently published to the Virtual Cabinet portal. Here you can also audit your clients to understand if they are viewing documents published to them. Outstanding tasks reports, 
This will give you a holistic view of all the tasks which are in the system currently outstanding. You have the ability to export the report data to CSV should you require. The final tab we have is the Admin tab. This allows IT administrators or support teams to administer Virtual Cabinet. Thank you for watching this video. We will be back with further videos in the Snippet series.